front row seat to the regal lifestyle. The recent extended interview with Meghan Markle on CBS has revealed more than just her personal struggles. It ignited a wave of controversy, especially concerning Jane Pauley's probing questions and evident skepticism. With her sharp insight and unwavering demeanor, Polly didn't shy away from challenging Meghan's narrative, posing questions that reverberate well beyond the confines of royal life. From the beginning, it was apparent that Meghan wasn't just sharing a story. She was constructing a narrative to garner sympathy and emphasize her sense of victimhood. However, Polly's calm yet incisive questions penetrated through this facade. Meghan discussed her mental health struggles during her time at the palace, even disclosing thoughts of suicide while pregnant with Archie, her first child. Despite these revelations, Polly's demeanor suggested doubt rather than unequivocal support for Meghan's claims. You hesitated to share your feelings with Harry, didn't you? Polly observed. The query lingered in the air, laden with meaning. What could have driven Meghan to conceal such intense emotions from her husband? The unspoken accusation hovered. Was this hesitation a genuine internal conflict or a deliberate move to add layers of complexity to the story? As the interview progressed, Polly's technique unveiled a nuanced but compelling tension. The audience could feel the palpable conflict between the immediacy of Meghan's disclosures and Polly's steadfast journalistic drive. It seemed as though Polly was subtly yet decisively challenging Meghan to drop her polished facade and face unvarnished reality head-on. As Meghan depicted profound distress and isolation within the royal family, Polly's probing questions revealed an insightful grasp of the underlying intricacies. You had everything, Polly remarked, a note of disbelief coloring her voice. You were cherished as part of the royal family. How could you ever feel isolated? This rhetorical question underscored the poignant truth that wealth and status do not guarantee happiness or fulfillment. Additionally, the timing of this extended interview drew notable attention. Meghan's story appeared to align with a wave of negative press, a calculated effort to regain public sympathy and focus. Polly's incisive remarks highlighted a significant discrepancy. If Meghan's difficulties were indeed so severe, why choose now to reveal them? It seemed as though the interview was more about managing public perception than personal healing, an endeavor to shift the narrative in response to mounting criticism. Then, leaked footage clip surfaced that were allegedly never intended for broadcast. Polly's reaction to this development was especially revealing. Isn't it interesting, she remarked, how these so-called secrets come out precisely when they're most convenient. The implication was unmistakable, this wasn't the spontaneous disclosure of a private ordeal, but rather a meticulously crafted performance aimed at garnering media attention. Amid this intense interaction, viewers could clearly observe Polly's reluctance to take Meghan's story at face value. Where others might have been swayed by the slick delivery and emotionally charged confessions, Polly's commitment to journalistic integrity stood out. She sought transparency, posing the difficult questions that were essential. Meghan Markle was visibly upset during the CBS interview when Jane Polly questioned her about inconsistencies in her story. As Polly pushed for clarification on the release of previously unseen footage, Meghan's frustration intensified, especially upon realizing that this footage wasn't a secret. In fact, CBS had permission to air it and Meghan had supposedly approved its release.